So one of the things that's been coming up a lot for me in sessions with clients and in my most recent intensive is this idea of telling powerful stories. And when we start to dive into this and look at what makes a story great, there is one mistake I see over and over again. People just continue doing this. And that is that everything seems really general. And they never are narrowing it down to get super specific. So one of the keys here is thinking about in what way can I get more specific? So I'll give you an example. I could say I was on the Today Show and it instantly took my business national. That's a general statement. If I make it more specific, I can do a lot more with the story of it and actually use the story to teach something or talk about a specific area that I want to teach on later. So I'll give you the example again. I got a phone call one day saying I was going to be on the Today Show within five days. Now, if you got that phone call, what would you do? How would you actually prepare? If you're anything like me, you'd probably scream and try to figure out what you were going to wear and think about if your hair looked good, if you needed a haircut. And then you'd really think about what you wanted to share in that interview. But everything would be on fast forward, booking your flight, finding the right outfit, all of those logistics, right? And so boom, all of a sudden you'd be there in New York, sitting in the green room, which is where all the other people who were being interviewed that day would wait. You'd be feeling their nervous energy. You'd be getting a sense of knowing how big this next step would be for you. And then all of a sudden, the producer would come in and say, you're on. And they would grab you, they'd put a mic on you, they'd bring you out to set, and boom, you'd be sitting across from Kathy Lee and Hoda, waiting patiently while 30 seconds seemed to fly by and all of a sudden you're live on TV in front of the entire country on the Today Show. Now, which story is more engaging? Which one is more interesting, right? I really want you to start to think about how can you take people into a moment in time? Where did I start that story with you? I started it at the moment I got the phone call, right? It was a moment in time. I also gave you some specifics about the green room where I sat with other people, about what that frenzied feeling was like by kind of hurrying up my talk while I was getting ready to go on the air. So I want you to think about how can you use specifics in your story and build up what you're trying to say. That is one of the keys to telling a really powerful story. Now if you like this video, share it. Because I believe that every single one of us has a bombshell within just itching to come out. And I believe we each have a story to share and a message to offer that is incredibly valuable and 100% unique. I am on a mission to give you the tools so that you can share your story and know your message, give it in a way that truly connects with your audience. What I want you to do in the comments below is give me a story. Give me the general version, but then also get specific with it. See where you can really begin to feel the power of sharing a video in this way.